Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video is in continuation of the operation of NPN transistors in active mode. And here primarily I will be solving three of the exercise questions 6.1, 6.2 and 6.3. So let's start with question number one. Consider an NPN transistor with VBE 0.7 volt and collector current IC 1 milliampere. We have to find VB at IC 0.1 milliampere and IC 10 milliampere. So straight away we take help of this equation that IC is IS e raised to the power VB e VT. And from here actually uh, um, we move this on the left hand side so it will become IC over IS so E V B E V T and now uh, step number one we parameters IC V B E and V T which is 25 millivolt are known hence we can find IS so primarily uh, is that if we find IS then we can find all uh, these two um, parts we just have to replace the uh, value of C I C okay so from here we can write I S which is the uh, reverse saturation current or scale current I S will be I C divided by this term so E raised to the power V B E over V T and now we plug in the values that are given IC is 1 milliampere and VBE is 0 0.7 volt and VT it is always we have to keep in mind that uh, in this book it is 25 millivolts so 25 into 10 raised to the power 3 generally uh, some people write it 26 millivolts some people write it 25 millivolt okay now this you have to keep in mind um, that many people just don't uh, write it a milliampere here and uh, also millivolt here this may become uh, confusing or this may become uh, or create error so initially I would recommend that you avoid writing a milliampere millivolt rather you put the full value so milliampere is 10 to the power minus 3 similarly for millivolt we will write 10 to the power minus 3 so this will minimize the chances of any error. Okay, and now if you use your calculator carefully, so this is the answer 6.914 10 to the power minus 16 ampere is the IS or the uh, scale current. And now step number two, we plug in the, uh, we, we take log of both the sides because we have to actually find VBE so from here uh, we, we, we take uh, from this equation we take log so the left hand side E will get eliminated and the right hand side will be log of log natural of IC over IS and from here we can write VBE is VT into log natural of this And now in step 3, we will put these two values of IC. So the first for IC 0 0.1 milliampere, we just plug in all the values, VT, 25 into 10 raised to the power 3, that is 25 millivolt. And this is 0 0.1, 10 raised to the power 3. And IS we have got from here, so we will plug in this value. So solving, we get VBE to be 0 0.643. This is for IC 0 0.1 milliampere. Now the next is for IC 10 milliampere. So same equation, just plug in the value of current here, different, and the answer is 0 0.757. Okay, so this is uh, uh, how we calculate, and this is the answer given in the book. So which is uh, same as we have. The next example is the transistor of a certain type are specified to have beta value in the range of 50 to 150 
find the range of alpha so this is very simple we just plug in into the formula we know this is the formula for alpha beta divided by beta plus 1 so for 50 it will be alpha will be 0 0.980 and for beta 150 plugging in the value we get 0 0.993 and this is the answer given okay the last example is that measurement of an N N NP and BJT in a particular uh, circuit shows that the base current is 14.46 microampere the emitter current is 1.46 milliampere and the base emitter voltage is 0 0.7 volt for these conditions calculate alpha beta and is okay we know that the emitter current is sum of character and base current so ie is equal to ic plus ib and we also know that ic is beta times ib so we plug in that value and from here we get beta plus 1 is equal to uh, uh, beta plus 1 into IB is equal to IE and so beta plus 1 is IE divided by IB now both values are given IE this one is the emitter current IE so we plug in that value and IB is 14.46 microampere 10 raised to the power minus 6 Again, here I am putting all the values, not writing milliampere or microampere. So the answer is uh, 100.996. Now this is beta plus alpha. Uh, sorry, beta plus 1. And so from here, beta is 100.996 minus 1. So 99.9696, which can be approximately written as 100. So beta is 100. And now we know the formula from beta to alpha conversion. So alpha is beta over beta plus 1. We we'll plug in the value. Of. So putting in these values, uh, we get alpha to be 0 0.989, which is almost equal to 0 0.999. Now the third point is IS. Again, we'll use this formula. This we have to remember all the time. From here, IS can be written as IC EBB over VT. And IC is alpha times IE. Again, the formula you have to remember the relation between IC and IE. So, alpha times IE over E raised to the power VBBT. Now we know all the values. We know the value of uh, alpha and we know the value of E. So, alpha E will be one point. Uh, 4 6 into 10 raised to the power 3 it is the same value actually um, ie the emitter current multiplied by alpha is almost 1 we have said we have calculated here alpha is 0 0.99 which is almost 1 and e raised to the power vb is 0 0.7 and vt 25 millivolt so we get the answer of 1 into 10 raised to the power minus 15 ampere so this is is and the answer given in the book is 0 0.99 so 0 0.99 alpha 100 for beta and this is 10 raised to the power minus 15 ampere for is so i hope this gives you an understanding how you can very easily solve these problems if you follow all these steps thank you